good morning students now i am going to discuss about bits bits wave motion chapter 15 class 11 bits bits means this is a phenomenon of alternate variation of intensity of sound wave at any time and at any particular position and bits will occur when two sound waves of nearly equal frequencies move in the same direction and they superimpose then bits will produced bits mean maximum sound minimum sound alternately maximum sound minimum sound maximum sound minimum sound you will get and bits will occur when two sound waves of nearly equal frequency superimpose when they move in the same direction then bits occur this is a phenomenon of alternate uh, change in or variation in the intensity of sound so we want to find the expression for bits and due to which we need two waves after superposition of two waves we will get bits so we need two waves two harmonic waves we have considered y1 equal to r sin omega 1 t r sin 2 phi in one And y2 equal to r sine omega 2 t equal to r sine 2 pi nu 2 t. So after superposition, we will get a single wave. And both are equal. This is the same thing. Y equal to Y1 plus Y2, so equal to this plus this, so R sine 2 pi nu 1 plus plus R sine 2 pi nu 2 t. So we take from R and sin A plus sin B. Sin A plus B by two, cos A minus B by two. So there will be two twice. Two is taken here. Sin A plus B by two pi. So This plus this by two means two pi e one t plus two pi e two t by two cos a minus b by two means two pi e one t minus two pi New two t by two. So these two cancel. We are getting two r sine, and it is taken in the front side. So so two to cancel. So pi new one minus new two. T, this is sine two to cancel pi new one plus new two t. Now this is the amplitude. So this is equal to a sine pi. New one plus new two t. Here a is here 
a equal to a equal to how much? Two r sine two r sine cos two r cos two r cos two r cos this term this term so two r cos pi mu one minus mu two t so this is the time varying amplitude this amplitude depend upon time and our aim is to find this amplitude when it when it will be maximum this amplitude and when this amplitude will be minimum so a will be maximum when and what i have a will be maximum when maximum a will be maximum when this term equal to plus minus 1 wave so plus 1 minus 1 so when cos pi mu 1 minus mu 2 t equal to plus minus 1 plus minus 1 is cos n pi equal to cos n pi and value of n is 0 1 2 like this n is 0 1 2 3 cos 0 is 1 cos 1 is pi minus 1 cos 2 pi means plus 1 like this so from this we are getting pi mu 1 minus mu 2 t equal to m pi 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 cancel so what is t t equal to n by mu 1 minus mu 2 now question when this time will be intensity of the sound wave will be maximum in this time so put you n n cap 0 1 2 like this right? so put t equal to 0 so a will be maximum when t equal to 0 if you put 0 then this will be 0 if you put 1 1 by mu 1 minus mu 2 if you put 2 2 by mu 1 minus mu 2 like this right? you will get maximum sound at time 0 at time this at time this the maximum sound will be obtained now when this amplitude will be minimum that means sound wave will be minimum so for minimum this should be pi by 2 so this should be minimum 0 so cos pi mu 1 minus mu 2 t equal to zero and zero means cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2 you put n equal to higher n equal to 0 1 2 like this so from this what we are getting pi what we are getting pi mu 1 minus mu 2 t equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 you see if we take 2n minus 1 then it will be right but in this situation we will feel I mean, if sometimes 
when n equal to 0, we will feel some problems. So, we have taken PPL plus 1. Okay. And both sides pi cancel. So, from this what we are getting P equal to 2n plus 1 by twice mu 1 minus mu 2. Now, question is when the amplitude will be minimum. What is the time when? So put n equal to zero. If you put n equal to zero, then it will be one by this one by twice mu one minus mu two. If you put one, then this is three by twice. If you put uh, uh, 2, then this will be 2 to 4, 5, 5 by twice mu 1 minus mu 2, like this way. At this time, we will get when t equal to this, when t equal to this, when t equal to this, the minimum sound will be obtained. That means this is the minimum. Now we see, this is the maximum. What is the time interval between two? Maxima or minima. So, time interval between two maxima is time interval between two maxima is you see this minus this means time interval between two maxima. Equal to this minus this or this minus this equal to 1 by mu 1 minus mu 2. And what is the time interval between two? Minima. This is this minus this. Here we have. This is different and this will also be in case 2, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 by 2 plane, this is also 1 by 1 minus 2, this is also 1 by 1 minus 2. So time interval between 2 maxima and time interval between 2 minima is same. Now what is bit period? Bit period is the time interval between two maxima successive maxima or time interval between two successive minima so what is bit period bit period tb equal to tb equal to bit period tb equal to time interval between two successive maxima or time interval between two successive minima between two successive maxima is 1 by mu1 minus mu2. Between two successive minima also 1 by mu1 minus mu2. So both are same. This is equal to 1 by mu1 minus mu2. Bit period means this is the time interval between two successive maxima or between two successive minima. And both are same. The time interval between two successive maxima is also 1 by nu1 minus nu2. Minima also 1 by nu1 minus nu2. So, bit period equal to this. So, what is bit frequency? This will be bit frequency, mean bit part. What is bit? Bit means bit part, bit frequency. Bit frequency means bit part, unit second. So this is equal to 1 by TB. Frequency means 1 by time period. So B is equal to 1 by TB. And this is equal to 1 by 1 by mu1 minus mu2. So this is equal to mu1 minus mu2. This is the expression for B. B B equal to 
नंबर अफ बीट पर इूनीट सेकेंड इज बीट फ्रिकुएन्सि नम्बर अफ बीट पर इूनीट सेकेंड इज बीट फ्रिकुएन्सि सो बीट फ्रिकुएन्सि इज वन बम पीरियड वन बीट टाइम बीट पीरियड बीट पीरियड इज दिस सो वन बिस इक्वल टू दिस सो बीट इक्वल टू बीट इक्वल टू न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू बीट मीन्स This is the frequency. This this means number of bits per unit second. Number of bits per unit second. And this is equal to if b is the bit per unit second, so b equal to new one minus new two. So the wave you have chosen, they have a slight difference in frequency. And if you subtract these frequencies, you will get the bit. Just say. एक मिनट पर किसका फ्रिक्वेंसी फोर थर्टी अनदर फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वट इज द बीट दिस माइनस बीट सो फोर थर्टी फोर थर्टी माइनस फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज योर बीट Bit means the difference in their frequency. Difference, but remember this: if the bit is more than eight, then this cannot be identified. Maximum sound, minimum sound cannot be identified. We cannot separate maximum sound, minimum sound. So the bit should be less than eight. That means that. Number of bits should be less than eight in one second. Okay, right?